Welcome to Series 1, Module 1 of In A Nutshell Training with Mark and Ian. Thanks for downloading What Is Social Networking? Now, the goal of this session is to give a confident overview of social networking. By the end of this session, you will have a good understanding of what a social network actually is. My name's Mark Peters, and Ian McKendrick is here. He's the Bill Gates of social networking. The only difference is he carries a lot more weight and a lot less cash. <laughs> Hello, Ian. Hi there, Mark. So where do we start with building a network? What's it all about? Well, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's big. I mean, there, are, there are loads and loads of social networking applications out there, as you can see here. You know, and, and, and I think one of the main things about social networking, or one of the barriers that people are finding to social networking, is... It looks intimidating. Well, it does when you're looking at a screen like that. Why do, have some of these come to the forefront and others I've never heard of? Why is that? Oh, well, some of them are a lot more useful than others, uh, and uh, some are a lot easier to use than others. So, for example, you know, if you take something like uh, Seismic, uh, Seismic is a video blogging uh, uh, application that you can use, uh, and not everybody's using video to cr create vodcasts. Some people just want to write stuff and have a blog, a WordPress yeah. blog. Yeah. It's a bit of a step up for me, that one video blogging, I think. I've never really thought of that I would be uh, good on a video blogging, to be honest with you. <laughs> that's why I work in radio. <laughs> Okay, so, but I mean, that's only the tip of the iceberg. I mean, there's 375 at the moment, there's 375 Madness. applications out there, yeah. and uh, and they're being released at a rate of five or more every single week, you know, so um, uh, it, it's getting even more confusing, and some people find it more and more intimidating. I say, don't be intimidated. Th have a think about uh, when you, you know, when, you know, how we deal with a post. Do you have any problem sending in a letter to your auntie? No, not normally, no. No, oh, I mean, we, you know, it's quite accepted. You know, the f first thing you need to think about is what sort of envelope you're going to use, what sort of stamp you're going to use to get it there. But are you bothered with how, how it gets there? No. Uh, how they sort it in the office? As long as it gets there. Are you bothered about the transport? Not really. No, are you bothered about the guy at the end? Well, not really, but it looks a little <laughs> bit dodgy, that one there. <laughs> well, but the point is, is that you just know how it works. It's just accepted. Yeah. Yeah, you're not intimidated you by a post box. No, that's right. No. But how do you think people felt in the 1700s before they even invented postage stamps about this weird, wonderful, high-tech way of getting messages to people. Yeah, it's probably a revelation, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and, and it's no different today as it was in the 1700s with all this new stuff coming along. It's only because we don't know about it, we, we, we fear it. Actually, it's a really good way of putting it. So I guess in years to come, we're all going to be using social networking as a way to communicate, just like we embraced the, the Royal Mail. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, don't be intimidated by that. I know it looks like a great big list of stuff, but there are different things there for different people to do different things. Yeah? You cool with that? I'm cool with that. Brilliant. So, you know, about social networks. You know, it's all about you knowing somebody, you know, you know Anne, who knows Steve, who knows Tom. Tom has something that could be interesting to you, but you're not going to know about it if Tom doesn't tell Steve and Steve doesn't tell Anne and Anne doesn't know you're looking for it. Yes. So it's sort of a bit blocked. Your network sort of stops at Anne, doesn't it? You would never find out anything past Anne. No, no, no. And, and that's really one of the limitations of networks, is that you know the people next to you, yeah. but not beyond. Yeah. And the secret, really, of a good network is getting the people around you to know the things that you want so they can keep their ears open for you. OK. So the, a good networker will have other people networking for them. So it's very much a two-way process. Yeah. You know, you're, you're giving people information, they are giving you information in return. It is, and that's what networking's about. It's about giving. It's not about taking. It's about what you can do to help someone else because they'll help you in return. Mm -hmm. So take that a little step further. When you get into network groups, it's a bit better because, you know, you and Steve and Tom are all in the same club together. Yeah. So the conversation's between the four of you. So when you talk about a group, this is a, a group of people that share the same interests or need the same things? It or? could be. It could okay. be, uh, like, like we talked about in our overview, about people wanting to meet, meet up and go jogging. Sure. Or yeah. vote for the best, best fish and chip shop. Yeah. Got yeah? You. Okay. But, you know, it's within that group that conversation happens. And the trouble is, even though you can connect the groups, even the groups are disconnected. Yes. Yeah, you see the problem? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah? So, for example, the jogging people yeah 
might not want to talk to the fish and chip people. No, d- probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all happy on their own. Yeah. <laughs> I've, to be honest, I've never seen a jogger running around with a bag of chips. Have you? <laughs> it's a great new concept, though. <laughs> if I was a jogger, that's how I'd do it. <laughs> so where do you start? You know, l- little bod on your own. There you are in this huge, big, scary world. Well, don't be scared with it all. This is where we go. You join an online social network. Okay, yeah. So uh, maybe something like Facebook. Have you heard of any of these? Yep. Well, I, I've, I'm on Facebook. I've been on Facebook for probably about a year now. I don't do a great deal with it because people just do things like throw chicken legs at me yeah. and stuff like that. Do you want to throw a chicken leg back at Ian McKendrick? Not particularly. No, I'd like to eat it. <laughs> um, <laughs> with but, my chips. Yeah, but the other ones, LinkedIn, I, I've heard of. For networking, I know is massive, but that's uh, we've got a, a whole kind of course. A we've network. got a whole module covering that. Actually. Yep. And what's this one down? There? Oh, Twitter. Yes. Just recently signed up to Twitter as well, which is quite addictive yeah it is but um, we, and again we've got a whole module that goes into that into some depth but that's the idea is that if you want to get in the online world you need to join an online social network yeah so with the trouble we have though is really about people's identities mm-hmm. you know uh uh you know you wouldn't think of going out with a to a network meeting with a paper bag on your head would you not really no i might <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's it's we need to know who people are, and uh, and we'll come across uh, we'll, we'll we'll cover we'll cover some areas of that a little bit later on in, in in some of the other modules. But just for now, you know, you need to know that we need to have an identity.